good, bad, or otherwise, the best thing you can learn to teach yourself is that when something happens, learn to let it go right there. Learn from it. What did it teach you? You know, uh, what was it showing you, offering you? What did you take from it? What did you give into it? I mean, all of these things. But when that experience has completed itself, just learn to let it go, you know, and don't hold on to it. Don't keep replaying it in your head, you know, rehearsing it again and again, looping. Because what happens is you're taking all of your energy and you're giving it to the past. That means you're abandoning the present moment and you're not going to be able to, you know, accomplish anything from here on. So you're just too busy being preoccupied and transfixed with something that already happened. You know, it's like driving on the road. Somebody, somebody just passed you by. So instead of you looking forward where you should be, you're looking in the rearview mirror and you're going to get into an accident. Well, it's the same thing in life. If you focus behind you, you can't see what's coming ahead of you and then you're going to miss it. And all of these opportunities and possibilities are going to pass you by and then they'll be in the rearview mirror. But by that time, it's too late. You can't go back and get them. So that's why when something happens, you know, good, bad or otherwise, learn to let that stuff go and move on to the next, on to the next. You know, for, as far as any of these experiences, if you want to just go back and like revisit them quickly, I mean, yeah, I mean, everybody travels through their memories to the past for the good times and those beautiful experiences. Yeah, if you need to lick a little energy boost, it's good to visit there, but don't live there. You know what I mean? That's a difference. So, you know, a lot of times people tend to wind up find themselves existing in the past because the present is just too scary. It's they, they escape to the safety of the past. You know, it was better back then. We were younger. Life was long. No responsibilities. You know, my parents were alive. And, you know, all my friends were, you know, we were all carefree and hanging out. It was, Yeah, it was great. I mean, I was young too once. It was freaking awesome, man. Who, who, who wouldn't want to live like that forever? But, you know, that's not the journey you have here. So you got to be in alignment with exactly what the universe needs for you to do. So that's focus and live in the moment. You're not dwelling on the past or obsessing over the future. You're in the here and now. And you're like, look, you know, it's nice to have memories and such, you know, to for a few minutes and then boom, snap out of that. Because if you get caught into that stuff, that's going to grab you and pull you right back there. And it's not going to serve you in a purpose because if your energy isn't in the present and your energy is something, you know, that has already occurred, if that's where it is, then you are absent from the only space that you can currently manifest and properly manifest. You can only be at one place in the physical here. That's why when people daydream, look at them. They look like they're zoned out. They're physically there, but you know somehow that they're actually not there. That's true because it's like their soul is journeying to wherever they're going. And that means it's almost like they're lifeless. You could see them. They're just like statues. It's very awkward to look at it, but you could see when somebody zones out, just like, ooh, where'd you go? You, 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 you faded out for a little while. And then like, huh, what? That's because they actually did go wherever their energy was focused on. That's the power of your energy. That's why I always encourage you, you have to realize your power, you know, the, 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 the magnitude of it and the intensity and the capability is limitless. You know, if you always focus your energy on worrying and, and, and strife and, and being vexed and all of the doldrums of life and all of that nonsense, you know, that's what you're going to, you, you're going to you materialize, man. And that's not a, that's not a good thing. I, I went through that my whole life, worrying, stressed out, negative all the angry at life, angry at this one. You know, I went through all that already. And it got me nowhere. The only thing I got good out of this stuff is the experiences that I can share with you. And it made me aware and alert what not to do and where never to find myself in the company of people I don't want to be around ever again. You know, because they're also catalysts too. And they're, they're triggers. They activate emotional feelings and everything from you. And they set you off. So you don't want to find yourself in the company of these types of characters because it's just, it's it's no... It serves no positive purpose. It serves no progressive purpose to be in their company. So especially the one company that you should never keep is the company of yourself from the past. That former version of you, don't keep company with that person because if you do, you know, you're going to be asking for trouble because that's the reason why you should never dwell on the past, especially the painful stuff. Learn from it. Learn to let it go and move on. Learn from the pain. Don't live it. And don't tether your feelings and emotions to it because it wasn't meant to be a life sentence. It was supposed to be a life lesson. That's basically what I'm trying to say.